Well, large marches have taken place for the last few consecutive Saturdays as calls for a ceasefire in Gaza intensify. Israeli government spokesperson Avi Hyman joins me now. Uh, Avi, just give us the latest on the troop movement. So your troops likely to be inside Gaza City very soon. Hi, Rosanna. Thank you very much for having me on. Um, I can't speak directly to uh, operational activity like that or, or our plans. I can tell you what's been reported already, which is that uh, we have encircled Gaza City. We intend to keep the pressure up on Hamas, both on the military side of things and the government side of things. The mission of our war against Hamas is to totally destroy, dismantle um, their military capabilities, their government to free Gaza from Hamas. So we're working on that. The second part of the mission is obviously to free those 240 Israelis that are being, hold, being held um, against international law. We're talking about men, women, children, and a baby, a baby of nine months old, was nine months old when that baby was taken and uh, is now 10 months old, held somewhere in an under underground uh, dungeon at gunpoint. I mean, as a father, it's unimaginable. Yeah, I, uh, part of the most sensitive parts of your operation, the hostage situation, there's a lot of pressure to get these hostages safely home, completely understandably. Uh, how is that going to be handled as part of this offensive? But again, I can't speak to operational uh, activities and I don't want to endanger those uh, those hostages in, in any way. What I will say is that we're fighting a brutal, brutal enemy. We saw what they did on October 7th. They pushed through our borders. They went from house to house, massacring our, our citizens, men, women, children, opening fire on babies in their cots, beheading babies. This is the brutal enemy that we're facing. And we also know um, that they are perpetrating a double war crime. They are embedded in their civilian population, both within the population and underneath the population, shooting at our civilians indiscriminately. Uh, we saw videos from the IDF just yesterday of them literally shooting missiles from inside a scout hut. There was scout insignia on the walls and 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 uh, missile launching uh, machinery in that room. We saw the same thing in a children's playground. Again, their children's playground, they're firing missiles from there at our civilians. It's a brutal enemy. And that's why we said we, we, we can't deal, we, we, we can't go on um, with this existential threat, with this jihadi um, entity on our southern border. Um, an entity that has said quite clearly, one of their leaders said in a Lebanese uh, TV interview just a few days ago, that they will do October 7th again and again and again and again until they destroy the Jewish state. This is an organization whose creed says quite clearly that first they intend to destroy the Jewish state entirely and then to go after Jews everywhere. So we didn't choose this war. We don't want this war, but we will win this war. Um, at the same time, the Hamas run, Gaza Health Ministry, we are aware of that, but reporting at least 10,000 killed since the 7th of October in Gaza. Your response to that? Right, well, I'd obviously take a anything coming out of the Hamas run Ministry of Health or the Hamas run anything with a, with a large spoon of salt, not just a pinch, because these are the same people that just a few weeks ago were beheading babies, were setting families on fire alive we're, we're literally taking children out of their homes, away from their parents, uh, hostage. They were killing children in front of their parents, parents in front of their children. This is a brutal, brutal terror organization. So I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't believe a word that they said. You... And unfortunately, they control Gaza with a gun. They are the people with guns in Gaza. And so any data that's coming out you know, from Gaza, from Hamas run Gaza, it is very questionable to say the least. What data? I mean, they, what data is reliable coming out of Gaza, if any? I mean, uh, outside observers, UN and others saying thousands likely killed. Right. Again, so the UN and other organisations working within Gaza are working under the gun of Gaza uh, of, of Hamas. So, you know, Hamas would love you to think that we're going in and, and attacking men, you know, women and children, etc. That is absurd. Israel only targets Hamas. We don't target 
humanitarian facilities or anything of that nature. That is not our aim. Our aim is to free uh, Gaza from Hamas. Now, the day after Hamas, we'll see a situation by which Gaza will be better off, the people of Gaza will be better off, um, and the world will be better off without Hamas. Look, a spokesperson for Hamas today, Avi, is saying that anyone who thinks that they can destroy the group is delusional. What do you make of that? I, I make, you know, that is psychological warfare by Hamas, and we don't buy it. I mean, when the operation is finished, when we have um, destroyed Hamas, dismantled Hamas, you know, th that that is the objective. That is what we, we intend to do, and we are looking for total victory. Uh, in terms of when, you, you mentioned that word when, so I want to ask you about that. Obviously, it's very hard to say, and you've mentioned that you won't speak operationally, completely understand that. Uh, nobody obviously would want to prolong this phase of fighting, but how soon do you think you could achieve that aim? Well, I'll remind you that, you know, before October 7th, there was a full ceasefire. There was a full ceasefire until they pushed through our borders and started butchering our people. We will continue the operation as long as it takes until we uh, fulfill the objectives, which are dismantling Hamas's um, military capabilities, dismantling Hamas's um, governance, and uh, bringing it home those hostages. That's, that's the objective. That's what needs to be done. Avi Hyman, Israeli government spokesperson. Thank you for your time.